Welcome to Dr. Battery YouTube channel. This is a one-stop destination where you can find various information about lithium batteries. Please click subscribe to keep this information handy. Last episode, we talked about battery capacity, specifically design capacity and full charge capacity. We also mentioned ways to find out full charge capacity on Windows 10. In this episode, we will teach you how to do this with other operating systems using Battery Mod. If you haven't watched our previous video, make sure to watch it. We are going to use the Dell Inspiron 15 5570 laptop as an example. Let's check out the original battery first. Open Battery Mod. From the data here, we can see that the design capacity, short for DC, is 41,998 MWH, while the full charge capacity, short for FCC, is 37,335 MWH. In other words, the FCC to DC ratio is 89%, which isn't bad. This battery still has quite some life left in it. Now, let's replace it with a brand new battery. Click here if you need instructions on how to replace the battery. First, you will notice that both the DC and FCC are the same, 41,998 MWH. This is what most batteries show when you first use them. We need to charge and discharge it a couple of times before we can see the real picture. Once you fully charge the battery and start discharging it, you will notice the power percentage dropping steadily. Interestingly, in our case, when the percentage dropped to 7%, it holds there for 15 minutes. This indicates that the FCC is likely higher than the DC. So when the counter goes to 7%, there is actually more than 7% power. The counter has to wait for actual power to come down to 7% before it continues to go down. In most cases, after 3 to 5 times of this full charge and discharge process, you may notice a difference between the design capacity and full charge capacity. This is normal and acceptable, as long as it is within a reasonable range, generally plus or minus 8%. If the difference is significantly larger than plus or minus 8%, it may indicate some quality issues with the battery. However, for some batteries, the FCC and DC remain the same even after 3 to 5 discharging cycles. This is likely because the manufacturer intentionally programmed the chips to hide the real FCC and DC data, so there is no way for you to find out the truth. But the question to ask is why did they do it? What are they hiding? Anyways, after testing your battery and you found that the battery's FCC is slightly higher, as in our case, or more or less the same as its DC, then everything is basically good. If the FCC is significantly lower than DC, you will likely experience sudden drop in power after a certain percentage and you may even experience sudden shutdown at a lower power level because actual power is lower than the counter indicated. This will be frustrating, right? To avoid this problem, our best advice to you is to buy your batteries from trusted sources and by trusted brands. Well, hopefully you'll find this information useful. In our other videos, You'll find information about battery cell quality and how they affect the performance and even safety of lithium batteries. You will also learn about shipping and transporting lithium batteries, which is important not just for sellers, but also consumers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit subscribe so we can share more interesting information about lithium batteries with you.